Neither the sky nor the earth have been quiet. She did not come burning. Cried out three times in her sleep. Help someone. They're murdering Caesar. Who's there? My Lord. Go tell the priest to perform my sacrifice immediately and bring me their interpretation of the result. I will. What are you doing, Caesar? Are you planning to go out? You are not leaving the house today. I will go out. The things that threaten me have have only seen, seen my back. When they have seen the face of Caesar, they will vanish. Caesar, I never believed in omens, but now they frighten me. A servant told me the night watchmen saw horrid sights too, but different ones from what we heard and saw. A lioness gave birth in the streets, and graves cracked open and thrust out their dead. Fierce, fiery warriors fought in the clouds in the usual formations of war, ranks and squadrons, until the clouds drizzled blood onto the capital. The noise of battle filled the air, and horses neighed, and dying men groaned, and ghosts shrieked and squealed in the streets. O oh, Caesar, these things are beyond anything we've seen before, and I'm afraid. How can we avoid what the gods have want to happen? But I will go out for these bad omens, apply to the world in general as much as they do to me. When beggars die, there are no comets in the sky. The heavens only announce the deaths of princes. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The brave experience death only once. Of all the strange things that I've ever heard, it seems most strange to me that men fear death, given that death, which can't be avoided, will come whenever it wants. What did, what did the priest say? They don't want you to go out today. They pulled out the guts of the sacrifice there. The gods do this to test my bravery. They're saying I'd be an animal without a heart if I stayed home today out of fear. So I won't. Danger knows that Caesar is more dangerous than he is. We're two lions. Two lions born on the same day in the same letter. And I'm the older and more terrible. I won't go out. Alas, my lord, your competence is getting the better of your wisdom. Don't go out today. Say that it's my fear that keeps you inside and not your own. We'll send Mark Antony to the Senate House, and he'll say that you're sick today. Let me on my knees when you over on this plan. All right, Mark Antony. We'll say I'm not well, and, if, and to please you, I'll stay home. Hail Caesar. Good morning. Worthy Caesar, I've come to take you to the Senate House. And you come at a good time so you can convey my greetings to the senators and tell them I won't come today. It wouldn't be true to say that I can't come and even less true to say that I don't dare to come. I simply won't come today. Tell them so it is. Say he's sick. Would I send a lie? Have I accomplished so much in a battle but now I'm afraid to tell some old men the truth. This is good telling that Caesar won't come. Most my Caesar, give me some reason, so I won't be laughed at when I tell him. So. The reason is that it's what I want. I'm not coming, that's enough for the Senate, but you, for you, private satisfaction, because I love you. I'll tell you, California, my wife is keeping me at home last night. She dreamed that she saw a statue of me with a hundred gold in it like a fountain with pure blood flowed from it, and many happy Romans came smiling and washed their hands in it. She takes these signs for warnings and predictions of terrible evil to come, and on her knee she begged me to stay home. The stream had been interrupted all wrong, interpreted all wrong. It was a good and lucky vision. Your statue pouring spouting blood through many, through many holes in which many spot, smiling Romans bathe means that you'll provide great Rome with sustaining blood and that great men will strive to get some token of approval from your holy blood. This is what Calphrenus dreams me. You offered an excellent interpretation. I will have when you hear the rest of what I have to say. The Senate has decided to give mighty Caesar
send them word that you, w you won't come, they might change their minds. Besides, someone's likely to go down the Senate until some other time when Caesar's wife had better dreams. If you hide yourself, they will whisper, Caesar is afraid. Pardon, pardon me, Caesar. My high hopes for you, for your advancement, force me to tell you this. My love gets you better of my mind. How fools your fear seem now, California. I'm ashamed that I've yielded to them. I give me my robe because I'm going. And look, yes, a few people come to fetch me. Good morning, Caesar. Welcome. What Brutus are you up this early to? Good morning, Cas Casca, Cas Megarius. I was never your enemy so much as the sickness that made you so sad. What time is it? Caesar, the clock has struck eight. I thank you all for trouble and courtesy. See, even Anthony, who stays up all night partying, is away. Good morning, Anthony. And to you, most noble Caesar. Yes. Tell them to prepare the other room for guests. I'm to blame for making you wait for me. Now, Santa, now, Medela, Bonius, I have an hour long matter to discuss with you. Remember to see me today. Stay near me so I'll remember. Caesar makes my heart ache. 